only less than 9% of European small businesses own IP rights. And that is not because the other 91% do not have any protectable IP, but mainly because they are not aware of the importance of IP to their business. Neither the business opportunities they are missing, nor the risks. Consequently, they usually ignore the real costs involved in a proper protection, or how and when to register, among others. As a result, they either adopt poor IP strategies, or they directly prefer not to adopt them at all. Only Cuba, Colombia, Mexico, Brazil and Chile are members of the Madrid system while Mexico is the only Latin American country that adhered to the Hague Agreement. Fortunately, this is not the case regarding inventions, as most of the Latin American countries belong to the Patent Cooperation Treaty, with the exception of Argentina, Bolivia, Paraguay, Uruguay and Venezuela, and artistic creations, including software, as all of them are members to the Berne Convention for Copyright Protection. As a rule of thumb, EU SMEs must appoint a local representative, an IP lawyer or agent preferably, as this is required for taking legal actions and going through the whole registration process, oddly open to the general population. However, it is true that in most countries, having a local domicile will suffice to apply, even online. With some honorable exceptions, Getting your IP registered in Latin American countries usually takes longer, no matter how diligent the IP office examiners are. This is the case of trademarks, as all the previously registered signs are taken into account by the office, regardless of the position of the right holder. Or designs, where a substantive examination of the novelty is conducted by default, for example, in Chile, Colombia, Mexico or Peru. Official registration fees are relatively low, but they are not the main headache for the accounting department. Indeed, thorough prior right searches, IP expert fees, translating documents, or obtaining an apostille are the most bothersome. Except in Guatemala, Nicaragua and Panama, there is no protection for non-registered designs. Moreover, once granted, the duration of the protection varies significantly, ranging from 10 years, like in Chile or Colombia, to 25 years, as in Brazil or Mexico, counted from the application date or the granting date. Finding a similar trademark used to commercialize similar types of products or services is no big deal in Europe, as the right holders can reach an agreement and coexist peacefully. This is not the case in Latin America, where the consumer's interest is enthusiastically protected, and hence, these coexistence agreements are subject to approval by the IP office in order to avoid any risk of confusion. Unless you have already appointed a local representative with full powers to act on your behalf, you may be forced to provide them occasionally, and that may imply notarization and legalization. Also, unless all the documents are already translated in Spanish or Portuguese, you must provide translated versions, performed officially by accepted translators in the case of Brazil. Plus, some countries only have physical-based application systems. There is a lack of specialization of IP courts. Moreover, even though civil judicial procedures are effective, it takes some time for the judge to make a decision. In fact, in some countries, it is impossible to obtain any preliminary measures against patent infringers during the judicial process, like in Brazil or they are rarely granted, such as for trademark infringement in Peru. 